continuing where we left off. The rose gold is done. I know it looks very much like the gold, so you're just going to have to trust me on that one. Now a nice rose pink. It's a little easier to see the contrast when I put them side by side like that. But I am quite aware that it looks very different on the phone camera. Now the violet, that's pretty good violet. Keep that one. The purple has a pretty wide wavelength on the light spectrum, so I can get many different shades of purple, but we're going to go right up to the purple shade. Because this process is just creating a light refraction, the blurple is particularly striking. It actually shifts back and forth between blue and purple in the sunshine, just like that chameleon car paint. But we're going to move on from that to a beautiful peacock color. It's like a nice vivid aqua with slight purple highlights. An extra big scoop of that because it's quite popular. Now we're going to shift over to a nice teal color. People frequently mix up teal and aqua, but teal actually has much more vivid green highlights in it. I myself may have been guilty of that from time to time, but we've got a proper teal going now. It's another one of those moments where you're going to have to trust me because I can see that on the phone camera it definitely looks far more green than teal. Now I can see that I have not soaked these in the multi-etch quite as long as I should have. Otherwise we would be getting more of a radioactive green at this point. So we're going to have to settle for more of a green, sagey yellow colour, which is perfectly fine for a rainbow mix. I think that's as bright as I'm going to get them. So into the tub with your friends and... Perfect. 